So the plan was that all the equipment was going to get delivered yesterday, Friday morning. And it was Thursday night. We just got back from the gym. It was probably 10.30 p.m. And this old, like, 70-year-old guy calls me. He's like, hey, I can't find your place. I'm lost, and I'm here to drop off all your gym equipment. So, like, long story short is we ended up receiving all the gym equipment on Thursday night, unloaded it, got done around 1.30 a.m. I was up at 4 a.m. for work. Yesterday was a long day, but the gym's done. Officially, we have all of our equipment. It's complete. We're waiting on one more bar, which is a Texas deadlift bar. I ordered it last minute. But it's just around 100 days. 100 days since I've been back in the States from Korea. We found our location. We built our gym. We got all the equipment. And now we're doing a soft opening on Monday. So, guys, thanks for all the support the whole way. We're all done. So in celebration of the gym opening up, I would just release these shirts on the website. So this is a three quarter sleeve, BPN, just like baseball tee. I'm gonna give you the gym tour real quick. Now they're officially done. So it was like Thursday morning, we ended up getting our leg extension, leg curl machine. All right, so we got that off eBay. That took like 25 days to ship. Cardio wise, we've got two rowers. We got two treadmills. We got a step mill. And then my favorite piece in here, the good girl, bad girls. So work on those abductor adductors. So you walk through the cardio room. We have 14 lockers here where you can throw your stuff in. You walk into the main gym. We got a leg press, two deadlift platforms. We have a hack squat machine over there. Bring it on over. Two rogue squat racks, two competition style benches, one incline bench. Now this piece over here is my favorite. I was a little nervous about this piece because my manufacturer sent me a picture of this. And I was kind of like, mm, I don't know about it, but it's an incline fly. And me and Joe did this yesterday. My chest is killing me right now. Like I only throw 145 on each side, so it's incline, but at the top, it comes up, gives you that contraction. So you have different variations of, of grip as well. So in the whole gym, we have 90 45 pound plates. So in this section, we got the, the back T-bar row. We have the hammer strength ISO row. These two machines right here are by a company called Muscle D. So this is a plate loaded uh, flat incline press. And then over here is a plate loaded shoulder press. So like these, these machines have like super good leverage uh, and it, it places the, the movement where you want it. I guess it's the best way to say it. So this is a really good shoulder press machine. And then we have our two calf, calf machines. I got the seated calf, I got the standing calf. We have a Smith machine over here. We have our eight stack of cables, our dumbbells, five to 150s. We have five um, free weight benches by legend. And then our fixed barbell set of, was it 20 to 110s. So the gym is done. We got it all. Okay, so this morning uh, we got new protein samples that came in. We're on our third manufacturer for protein right now. And that's why it's taking us so long to kind of pull the trigger and put protein into production uh, because like the manufacturer we use for pre-workout and our amino acids and everything else is a completely separate manufacturer because to make protein powder, you need to have an allergen free facility. So it's, it's kind of a completely different manufacturing process. The first couple of like manufacturers that we were dealing with and getting samples from, uh, their, their customer service just wasn't well. It, it, it didn't really put a good taste on mouth. So we automatically just like, they're out of the question anymore. One thing that does bother me though is like when you're working with new manufacturers, cause protein powder, the biggest thing is the flavor, obviously. All protein powders are essentially the same thing. Same ingredients, same macronutrient breakdown. But like if I'm gonna spend a $50,000 investment on a protein powder, I expect like more than a scoop or two to taste it, you know? so. That's kind of like where we're at with the protein powder right now and that's why it's taking us so long to launch because I want it to be perfect. It has to be perfect before I put it up on the site and we go into production. 
But I'll tell you, it makes me mad when manufacturers do this. They send me like one scoop and they expect me to, to spend all this money. This is one piece I forgot to mention. So right next to our dip bar, we have uh, like the selectorized, it's a tricep and bicep. You know, you can do both. I wanted one of these pieces just because I love hitting biceps. And it's a good break from using like free weights. I like it. So when I get back from NTC, I'm gonna do like a more in-depth breakdown of my training split because like I just don't have time. I leave in a week. We have grand opening in a week from today and a week plus one day I leave for California for a month. And then after that I go on terminal leave and my time in the army's done. But like my training is pretty much just based off of principles and a philosophy. Like I don't hit certain exercises on certain days unless it's like bench, deadlift, and squat. But really I just like, I come in, I do the workout, and I just try to destroy that muscle group as much as possible. Like today is back and biceps. I just hit back and biceps until I feel I had a good workout. So I already hit back, and now arms. And this cut has pretty much come to an end. Like I wanted to cut for 20 weeks. That's not gonna happen in the field, eating MREs. So we are not working the rest of the day. We're gonna go into Austin, we're gonna get like a beer or two, kind of just explore. Because tomorrow is all admin day, the beginning of next week, I interview a few people to work for us at the gym. And then like once I leave, Preston and Joe were just working their asses off because it's one less person that's gonna be around for 30 days. Hi Greg, my name is Preston Bear. I'm calling a part of the company Bear Performance Nutrition. Currently, we are in Round Rock. We have a gym and we warehouse product there. I was wondering if I could talk to you about the property. I think it's right across from the FedEx facility. It's in Temple, Texas. I think it's $9 a square foot, about 2,300 square feet. If you could just call me back, we could, we'd could. we like to, to see it as soon as possible if you, you were able to show us. So just call me back at 717. I look like I hit the lot of Turn left on East 6th Street. So like even when we're out, we can't help but talk business. And we're like, we're trying to plan for our next big move. Like the gym's over, like what's next? With me getting out of the military, there's a lot more time and space for us to make like different moves. And like we're looking at our numbers from last year. Last January, as opposed to this January, we've had a 2,500% increase in sales, which is huge for us. So like our next move now that we're looking at is new warehouse space for the supplements alone. Like the gym is built, now where do we move the supplements to? Uh, and instead of leasing a place, we're looking at building, but building in a place that is, like it costs less per month. I, I tried something over there, this, and it was hot as shit. So food truck is, <laughs> <laughs> so Austin, Austin is like known for their food trucks, they're really good. And so we got tacos here at Pueblo Vejo, but I suck with hot stuff. Oh. Oh my God, it's dude. It's gonna take yeah. a little throat. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's a different kind of hot. Yeah, that's, whew. That's crazy, dude. That's, that's spicy. I got a chicken taco, a steak taco, and a fish taco. Dude, that hurts. Yeah. <sighs> Chills. I would consider today like the calm before the storm because it's really like the, the last day off for any three of us. Tomorrow we're filming commercials for Bear Performance Nutrition and Bear Performance Gym all day. And then next week it's the soft opening, Saturday grand opening, and then I leave for California and they're just working like nonstop. The good thing about these tacos is like everything's fresh. We'll go to like Torchy Tacos sometimes where it's like filled with queso and just things that are really high in fat and carbs. But these are very fresh ingredients. Like you feel good after eating these. Okay, so we're currently downtown Austin on 6th Street, flying the drone. I lost it, it's disconnected. So it's, I'm trying to return it home right now. Um, but we're flying the drone and, and someone walked up, here it is. Someone walked up to me as I was flying it and uh, he gave us his business card because he wants us to fly a drone for him for his business. And he's the owner of Fair, Fair which like is the Uber of Austin. Which is the Uber of Austin. So 
we're gonna connect with him and try to do some work for him. I got a bunch of geese flying through my drone right now. So Leroy is currently stuck in the tub. Come on. Oh, Come on. You can go. Come on. Come on, Leroy. Chicken. Come on. Chicken. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Leroy, come on. Chicken. Come on, buddy. There you go. Yeah, yeah good yeah, boy. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, so last meal of the night, chicken, rice, and then if you guys remember when I was in Korea, I was eating these all the time. I actually found them at H E B. It's the roasted seaweed sheets. So like for a whole pack of this, it's 60 calories. There's like nothing to it. And you just take these out, you put your rice in there and you eat like a sushi taco. So I'm gonna eat this for dinner. But we stopped at Whole Foods uh, before we came home. And what we're gonna start doing is make our own, own cold brew. So we got beans. Um, these were just roasted recently in Austin. So like the fresher the roast, the better the beans are, I guess. Joe knows this kind of stuff. We got a bean grinder and then a kit to make cold brew. So we'll probably start doing this. You have to let it sit, I think like around 18 hours. So we're gonna start doing this like every other day and make our own cold brew, which is pretty cool because we all love cold brew. That's the video guys, hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you in the next one.